What's up, my bandits? Danny Gunn checking in once again. And guys, right now I'm here in my office and I wanted to quickly, before we start this video, uh, do a few shout outs to the fans that I have on my Instagram and Facebook page, dudes. So check it out. Let's, uh, let's load up my Instagram. If you guys don't know, my Instagram is at Machine Gun Danny, all right? So I'm gonna show you that right here, right now. At Machine Gun Danny, right there, Instagram. And check out the stuff I post, man. A whole bunch of cool pictures uh, from Gun vs. Gun, from Big Boy Toys, you know, and a whole bunch of stuff that I go through daily uh, that you can check out on there. So, hey, if you haven't uh, already added me, what I wanted to do is I wanted to go to this uh, most recent post, open it up, and uh, give a few shout-outs to the people that uh, commented on off this picture. So, these people are Dragon ID 27 he commented, you are awesome, bro. Thanks, man. I'm a big fan of you. Awesome, man. I like that. Bang, Ben's mod. Smash it. What the heck's he talking about, man? Uh, fee, uh, VHI, Fee3440. Fee like the picture so much. Master Philip Lindsay is out. Awesome, dude. And then we have Princeton Brandon. Can you put them in the big boy toys video, please? I guess he's talking about this Nerf gun. But uh, yeah, we'll see. You never know. You're gonna have to uh, keep checking out the channels to see, um, you know, what uh, video this gun might pop out on that I posted a picture of. So, and you gotta add me to your Instagram. So add Machine Gun Danny. Now, that was the uh, most recent comment or most recent post on Instagram. Why don't we go to the Danny Gun Facebook page, which is right over half. See that right over there? And uh, the Facebook page is at. Machine Gun Danny, so it's facebook.com slash Machine Gun Danny. Um, same thing, guys. I post a lot of stuff that uh, I don't post on Twitter. So if you have me on Twitter, you're going to have to add me to Facebook and Instagram because, uh, you know, there's different posts coming in here. But, uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I actually checked this out. I don't know if you guys seen this. Plunia Pickaxe. It's my custom mod that I've done in one of our Big Boy Toy videos. If you haven't seen it, go check it out on that channel. It's from the Fortnite video game, and it actually looks pretty cool. So, um, yeah, you know what? Why don't we pick that one, open it up in another tab, and let's see. Let's see what kind of comments we get, we got for that picture. And I'm going to do a few shout-outs out there, too. See what we got. See what we got. Okay. Rashan Amir, he said, good. Uh, Chong Rashad, whoa, this is cool, dude. Thanks, man. What else we got? Philip, Philip Medoc says nice. All right, so a couple of shout outs. Nick Cook, a plunger on a sword. That's right, buddy, a plunger on a sword. It's a Pluna pickaxe. Anyways, a few shout outs uh, to you guys. Uh, thanks for uh, you know commenting and uh, you know checking out my Facebook page. That's pretty cool. So yeah, guys, make sure you uh, go check that out and uh, click and add me to your Facebook slash Instagram. Anyways, what, uh, what we're doing today is, um, this vlog is actually about a zombie apocalypse. Why? Well, because, you know, you've seen videos that I've done in the past with my brother and, you know, all, all by myself as well, depending, you know, what kind of stuff we've been uh, setting up for a zombie apocalypse. But what I always was curious about is that, let's say I'm stuck here in this kitchen, right here, right now, check it out. I'm in the kitchen, no one's home. Tommy's not home and I'm here by myself. And let's say a horde of zombies walks right in through that door and through the hallway too, all right? So I'm surrounded and even down here, from right here too. So I'm surrounded because a lot of people are like, oh wow, uh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that during the zombie apocalypse. Okay, sure, but what if, what if it happens instantly where you are right now on the spot in this kitchen? What would I do? What would I do? This is, this is the vlog, this is what the vlog's all about. So I'm wondering what I would do if I'm stuck right here and there's like two zombies from there, three zombies from there, and a couple of zombies from here coming at me hard. What would I do? Well, guys, I would start looking into the drawers. I would go into the drawers and start picking the biggest weapon uh, I could find. Let's see, what would that be here? Because uh, we got a whole bunch of, uh, you know, kitchen knives, kitchen knives. Oh, we got this, this is pretty large. This is kind of like a, a bread knife, but it's pretty, uh, it keeps me, it's, it's pretty long and it and, you know, keeps a distance between me and the zombie. So I would definitely go with this right now, 
that's my first choice. What else we got here? Nothing in here. So then basically guys, I know I would be in panic and I'd be like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? I gotta search for things. Maybe I would grab a Windex, but I don't know if a Windex was spraying a Windex into an eye of a zombie would do anything. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, forget that. Let's go down here. Next drawer, I know there's a whole bunch of cooking stuff in here too. Uh, what else would I do? I would definitely grab this, okay? Take that out. Uh, what else we got here? Um, this thing's pretty long. Oh, this is, see this thing? This is for the barbecue, but it's pretty sturdy, pretty uh, heavy, and you know, you could use it as a tool. A, I could try to like connect the knife to it with some duct tape so that it keeps a pretty long distance between me and a zombie. Or B, I could just start slapping and cutting into people because this thing is pretty solid. There's no way you can break this or bend it. So this is definitely one of my go-to. I've got three, three go-to things along with this knife. So right now, this is what I would grab. At, oh, this is, I don't know what the hell this is gonna do. I don't even know what this is for. Maybe help me with the, uh, with setting up the knife there. Let's see. But I know that down here is my go-to, uh, go-to drawer for duct tape, dudes. So I'll grab some duct tape, grab some duct tape. So yeah, I would definitely duct tape and set up this weapon to help me fight off these zombies that are coming at me in this kitchen right now, dude. So let me, uh, let me go set up this weapon and show it to you and see how you guys like it or not. But basically, this is how quickly I would react and set up this crazy ass weapon to help me survive the attack. All right, so let me set that up and I'll show it to you. So check this out, dudes. I created a crazy zombie fighting weapon in about 30 seconds, uh, let's say a minute, okay? Check this out. Gives me a distance that I need to, uh, you know, chop away at zombies so, you know, they can't come and scratch me and bite me because this is almost like, a, what, what is this? this is probably like three, four feet long, man. This is pretty long, so chop away. I can even stab at them, chop away, chop away, chop their heads off stab into their brains, basically just to help me uh, survive this attack. So actually, this is a pretty good uh, creation, I think. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If, uh, you know, if this was a good choice, what you guys would uh, create or make inside your kitchen, let me know in the comments below as well. And click like to this video, dudes, because hey, you never know when a zombie herd is coming at you and you gotta come up with a crazy weapon. And I think this is, Pretty darn cool, I think. Anyways, this was uh, just one of the uh, curious kind of things that I always wondered, you know, what I would do. And I think I kind of came up with a pretty crazy weapon. What do you guys think? I think so. Yeah, I like this. Now, maybe in the comments below, we should come up with a name for this uh, zombie fighting weapon. So let me know what you guys think we should name this thing as well. Yeah, anyways guys. Uh, this was just, uh, you know, a little quick video. Want to give a shout out, like I said, the guy, to the people on Instagram and Facebook that are following me. So make sure you guys go and do that if you haven't done that already. I'm going to probably post this picture of this weapon on one of those accounts as well. So you guys can check it out later. And, um, you know, keep tuning in, man. Keep tuning in because there's going to be some crazy videos coming your way. All right. Uh, I think that's it for now. Peace out, my bandits.